What's up everyone, this is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we're looking at the DC Comics Unlimited Injustice Batman figure. Now I already reviewed the Batman figure once, this is the repainted version that has actually been at retail for quite some time but it just got released online with the uh, Hal Jordan figure just recently so I finally got one. And I have to say, the figure itself of course it's the exact same figure so it's not hugely better but the paint makes it look phenomenal compared to the original, the bronze and purple, I'll show you a picture of it right there. It's uh, it's not nearly as ugly as that original version. So it's the same figure, still stands six and a half inches tall. Still has pretty limited articulation, but oh my goodness, it looks so much better. And he's definitely worth picking up just to have standing there because he looks really good. You can't pose him very well at all, but it's definitely a cool looking Batman figure. The head's still a little bit small. Not quite the right design based on the game, but it's just a really cool design, and it looks great. So, let's go through it real quick. He's got the soft cape, some shading in it, not too bad. Detail work fully underneath. Cape tucks into the armor. Doesn't really, but it looks like it does, so that's cool. The head looks up a little bit, not as far as I'd like, but it looks down and all the way around, so that's okay. Ball hinge, shoulders but there's no bicep swivel so that's pretty limited bicep hinge and then just like on the Green Lantern figure you can swivel there the swivel should be at the top half of the elbow to give him a, uh, a faux bicep swivel but instead he has the swivel down here which is redundant because of the swivel in the wrist you know it's not it's not really ideal there is a hinge there though he has a diaphragm joint that is only good for swiveling that's because they didn't give him a waist twist at all. But it actually works out okay because you don't really see it too, too much. It's relatively well hidden, so I'm okay with it. The hips, fairly limited again. They don't go too far forward. They don't go backward at all, but they go all the way out to the side very easily. So if you want to pose Batman doing the splits or some other type of activity that involves doing the splits, then you can do that with no problem. He has a thigh swivel and a knee swivel just like the wrist and the forearm again it's another set of redundant articulation but he does have a knee hinge very limited though not even maybe about 45 degrees i don't know it's not very good and an ankle pivot which is all right now here's the thing about the feet just like green lanterns they don't go flat either and the only way if you put the uh if you line up the sculpt work they really don't work well at all the legs are just kind of all over the place so if you want to swivel the th lower half of the thigh to the right and then swivel the knee back in to line him up he stands a little bit better you'll have a little bit better luck posing him but it breaks the sculpt either way it's still you know it's not the best batman figure it's definitely not as cool as it could have been but it's a really sharp looking figure with the silvers and the blacks and the blues it just looks really cool so i'm gonna say go ahead and pick him up uh, it's definitely better than the original one. Don't buy the purple one. It just doesn't look nearly as cool as this. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting. <laughs>